Hi everybody, Jennifer here from Beauty is Virtue. I just wanted to share with you my project. Um, I call it the accordion fold uh, centerpiece for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I created this um, out of MDF wood coasters from Joann's. They were a dollar a package and I used um, nine coasters so I had to get a second pack. Um, I painted them with gesso and black gesso and then I covered them with paper and embellished them. So it's a really um, easy process, a little time consuming, but what an awesome centerpiece for your table. So you can see it's on my table and it looks really pretty and this side says thankful and the other side says Christmas. and it. We'll fold up like a book, just like this, and you can put it away for the next year. So this is what this side looks like. And it says Christmas. So, I will show you a little bit of what I did. So, I embellished the papers with a stencil and some Lindy stamp game, and I used some materials back here, and this is glitter paper uh, that I cut out to the letters. and some pearl trim and lace and a little bit of burlap and some embellishments that I made in the tutorial you'll see some of the embellishments that I made and here um, I cut out a lot of these shapes with chipboard and put glitter and stuff on them and again I used the same color to color these um, flowers and some eyelash trim. Over here I use some bling trim and a doily in the background here. The Lindy Stamp Gang spray that I used um, I got from Scrapbooking Bo with Me Boutique on Facebook. Here I use some of the micro beads from Martha Stewart and um, they stay pretty good after I put some Mod Podge over the top so it looks really cool. Here's another doily and you can kind of see the Lindy Stamp Gang stencil in the background. Just very light but just enough to add some color and some different texture in the background. So here's a glitter leaf that I did, and this lace here is from the Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. It was in one of their kits. It's a little flower, and um, here's one of my leaves that I, I use the Lindy Stamp Gang on all of my leaves and stuff like that um, that I got from the Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. It's the Industrial Chic collection and they look really cool on this thing on this side thankful side um, put a little half doily under there here I did a spellbinders die a couple of my leaves a prima flower and some recollection bling there here is um, one of the big leaves that I did with the Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder and this one as well. This is a spray from Craft Supplies 1 and this is a Recollections flower. And you can see where I used the Lindy Stamp Gang spray and my stencil in the background there. Here I did some uh, black bling that I got at Michael's 
You can see the spray here on this one really good. And this is one of my um, cutouts and I embossed this one and I used glitter on this one. And this is from the Prima Gears. And I got this from Scrapbooking with Me Boutique on Facebook. And here is another leaf and some metal fall items that I got at Michael's. And these are the Recollections flowers again. This is a Tim Holtz um, fastener. And I just added this little charm that I got at Michael's. It says, give thanks. And this really cool flourish that I added, I cut out of the gold, um, the gold glitter paper, but this florist I purchased um, the, the dye from Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. So as you can see, they have a lot of different items that you can order. This is a uh, part of a doily in the background. And then that's, th that's it for the thankful side. Now for the Christmas side, I use the November kit that I got from Scrapbooking with Me, and you can see it is gorgeous. And, um, this is another Spellbinders die. I used silver glitter paper from Stampin' Up! to cut out the letters. This is part of the kit collection, and so is this. And this is a pearl spray from Craft Supplies 1. This is beautiful paper. I just fell in love with it. So I just couldn't cover up so much of it. It's another flower that I got from Craft Supplies 1. This is part of the button collection from the Bow Bunny kit, November kit. And this is a Meyer Road uh, pin that I just added there. And you can get that at um, Scrapbooking with Me Boutique as well. This is part of the Bow Bunny collection. And this was part of a tr uh, trim that came in the November kit that I just cut and put there. Some silver bling and the letter R. This was such a beautiful page, I didn't want to cover it. But I added some of the um, crystal effects on the top. Can you see that on the bird? So pretty. And then some eyelash trim here, Recollections flower, a little bit of bling and a snowflake that I had in my collection at home. And this is beautiful spray from, La I mean, I'm sorry, uh, lace from Lavish Laces. And I added that on the top. Some of these little glass, like they look like water drops. I don't know if you can see them. And this is Pearl Trim from Scrapbook and With Me Boutique. And I just added a little bit of, I just added this little bow. And I don't know if you can see, but I added some of the Stickles glitter that I got from the Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. And this page was so cute with the little deer. Um, this was from the Bow Bunny Buttons collection. And then this was actually a flower from a previous kit and I just put a brad there and stuck it on there. I didn't want to cover all this cute stuff here. And this is, these are little papers from the collection. I just put a brad there and then one of the Tim Holtz metal pieces here and then I cut out this from the little papers and this is from the buttons from the November kit. And this is, I had another charm here from the, I used the Tim Holtz fastener again. And this is love. And I think of love at Christmas time, all the time. This was a beige flower and I just gessoed it white to match and put some, some glitter on the top. And this was from the collection right here, a little owl. Oops. And this is last but not least, uh, this is beautiful lace trim from Lavish Laces Shop. And this is from the paper collection. 
and this is from the buttons. And then I just added a little, what's that, like a clock hand that I got from Tim Holtz and just added a little bling there. So, that's my Christmas side. I hope you guys like my project. And if you like, if you'd like to make it, please watch the tutorials I made. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and Thanksgiving. Blessings, guys.